Hello everybody. Last time we added a camera experience where the user could take several pictures to create a new journal entry. Now we want to make this experience accessible from other parts of the device, not necessarily within the app. For that, we're going to add a new widget control, which is going to be a button in our control center that the user can tap. And that will open the app and route the user specifically to this camera experience without them having to do anything. Okay, to add a widget to the control center, so we say it's a button, it's a control, the control is a widget. What we have to add is a new target, would be a widget extension. Activate the scheme, we have this. And in our widgets, we do have a bundle. We have multiple widgets. We're just going to need one. It's going to be our widget control. Let's, uh, yeah, we don't need the timeline provider. And here, we will not be using an app control configuration. We do not need any of these. And instead, we will have a static control configuration, the kind is what we have here, already declared for us. And in the content, we will have a widget control. In our control is a control widget button. It will have an action, which is an app intent. We'll use our already declared app intent there. And um, let's not call it this, it's a camera capture intent. I'll create this later. And here we'll just have one label. We'll add a, an SF symbol that's different than the regular camera one. And now we need to deal with our intent. So it's not going to be this one. It's not going to be a widget configuration intent. It's going to be an app intent. We do not need a parameter for now. We do need a title and a description though. Now we do want our app to be open when the user taps on this control, but that there's already a property, a variable. And we will need a perform. For now, let's just return a result, but we're gonna do something later. But for now, just the result. and we can build. If I were to run it right now, whoops, we got an error there. What we were missing is this control, actually the control widget, we need to add it to our app. I don't know why in the creation it didn't get added. Same for the app intent, since we are using it inside of this control. Let's try running it again. Our control is added. Once we tap on it, there, the app's open. Now, what are we missing? We do not want this control to just open the app. We want it to also trigger this action here so the user can immediately start taking pictures. And how can we do that? Well, here in our app intent, we need to do something that will tell the app that it needs to present. So basically the app will provide something. We will inject it here, trigger the action. And then when the app is open, thanks to this, we can use that same thing we injected. And in the view model, open the camera. How do we do that? First, we need a service. We have already a journal and a for service. Now we need a routing service that will be used for this.
this will work for our um, default dependency injection within the view model. Uh, and let's use it right now, but it will not work when we are using it in the app. But for now, let's just do it. So for uh, let's ignore the intent for a while. We're just going to add it here to the environment object so we can use it from the view and the view model. And we're going to pass it through the environment to our view. Now here, we'll see that we, this needs to conform to observable. We can do that here. Oh, and now that I'm already here, we also need to add it to our widget extensions. And this is the service that we're going to use. The intent is going to change this variable. Now if we go back to our app, we can now inject it. And in our list, we can now use this as an environment. Here we will pass the routing service adapter. To specify this and then it's a private var we're not going to use it from anywhere else and we'll change this we will no longer be getting the flag from our view model we'll get it from the service oh no and this is environment we need to transform it to binding And it's not binding, it's bind double. So now the list is ready. And the view model, when we tap the camera, we were doing this. No longer, we're gonna add a new dependency. Oh, and yeah, actually, we shouldn't be doing this. Okay, now let's ignore for now our intent and see if everything is still working. So if we tap on the button, our camera is still opening and we can dismiss. So it's working. Now let's go to our intent and use this. Now, how can we pass a service that we declared here to our intent? It's not like we can use this singleton button. We cannot use share there. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our app. We import app intents. Our app does get initialized when uh, for the widget. It's not going to show the view because it's running in the background, but it will be initialized. And there we will have this. We'll have an app dependency manager. We use the shared instance and we can add a dependency. We can add our service. And that's all we have to do in the app. Back in our app intent. In this perform, we need to use that dependency. How do we do that with a annotation dependency? And here in our routing service, we can do exactly the same. We'll change the camera presentation to true. Ah, and now we get another problem because this is not sendable camera capture intent since it's a class. We can change that. Which we do want to be compliant with Swift 6. With this, we cannot do the main actor part, but we can change these two methods.
Uh, we'll have to change thing in our, yeah, we can no longer inject this. And in our list view model, instead of changing this, we are going to keep using the variable that we were using. And we need a new method. So on up here, we're going to call a method in our view model that's going to check this. Oh, uh, yep. It's going to check this routing service. Oh, it's actually because of the. Oh, okay. No problem. And in the unappear, we will have to check it differently. Okay, the good camera presentation. Oh, and with that variable, actually, let's make it private. Revert this. Uh, we don't need this anymore. I think we still cannot build the other current intent. Perfect. This is async, so no problem. And we're missing one more thing, which is in our view on up here. We call our view model. Let's see if this works. So everything's installed there. Let's close the app. Let's swipe down. Now fire this. And it didn't work. And it's because we here we do need to be using our uh, routing service, but we need to use the variable that way it will update the the appears now. I'm pretty sure this is getting executed first because if we the unappear should let me go back. Yeah, so that's why the variable is being set. So let's fix that. Okay, so we're going to expose this is presenting camera. It's going to be in the, the variable is going to be part of the main actor. Let's go back to our app, return the environment part of we were using. the unappear anymore but we also don't need this published and keep in mind i can do this because of the isolation the routing service adapter this variable is part of the main actor which is also part of, which is also the same isolation we have in this view model and that's why i don't even need to do this async i believe this is everything I had to do. Oh, I need this anymore. Cool. Let's try running again. Okay, so let's close the app. So it's closed. We're going to shut down for our control center. I'm going to tap the button. It opens the app and it's immediately in the camera. Now we can go to a journal. If we go back, the camera is still not open. Let's try that again. Gonna click down, gonna tap, and the camera is there. Take pictures. Three there. We can tap here and we can create. And everything is working as expected. We started this new flow from our control center. We and that was all for today. Use how we could add a dependency from our Swift UI app 
into our widget extension. That was all we needed to do to make it so that our new widget control could be tapped on by the user, open the app and set a parameter so that the app knew where to route the user immediately, making the experience more accessible from different places that are not part of your app. Hope you liked the video. Bye.